Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Just Nerds here, and I am back with another unboxing today. But this one is kind of special because it's something a little different. Sorry, the box poked up right there. Um, so yeah, not much I can say, but this is the Kirby. What is this? It's called a Nendroid. Nendroid. What is it? Uh, Nen. Uh, oh boy. Sorry. Uh, and then it's called Nendoroid series. It's not okay. There we go. Nendoroid series by Good Smile Company. So this is a more fancy figure by Good Smile Company. Um, I'm not sure if this came up in the video back then, but we saw for the Anime Expo in 2015. Me and my friends went to the panel for Good Smile Company, and this. Probably was in the video, but Sonya got a Ninjaroid. It was a Hatsune Miku, some like a snow version or like a snowflake version. The co like the colors were different. It was blue, and that doesn't really matter. But it was really nice, and it was I think it was special edition. But either way, it was super nice. Um, but the only one I really cared for at the time was Toon Link, just because it looked cool. And I'm sorry for the. Um, the unboxings recently, but a lot of stuff came out, you know, Amiibos, but then also I found this somewhere So I didn't officially get this like at a good smile company thing or a, an expo, but I did find this um, It's like at a comic shop and it's really cool. It was only like 40 But then I was able to split it with someone, you know, kind of like as a gift. So yeah, I was able to get this for so this was 40 it's probably more expensive getting it like at a convention or ordering it. I really don't know. I know you can order it online if you want. So yeah, this is the Kirby, the 544th version. And let's go through the box really quick. So it has different, um, I think, face plates or different bodies right here. So you can see the different things and you could attach different things for what you like. So if you want the Star Rod or Fire Kirby or just like this, you can do that. Or Sword Kirby, which is uh, you know, probably one of the best Kirby's. So yeah, I'm gonna open this. Hopefully I didn't get scissors or anything. I didn't think about that. So just give me a second. So yeah, um oh boy. I am ruining this box. My bad. Okay, so um, I don't know if I've said this in a video before, but Kirby is actually one of my, or he is my favorite Nintendo character. What am I saying? Um, I, I love Kirby since I was a kid. Played, I think my first one was Kirby Nightmare to Dreamland on the Game Boy Advance. And that was just like my favorite game for the longest time. Amazing Mirror and all the other ones on the DS were just amazing. I don't know where to put this box. Okay, so you have the different things here. I'll try to. You have it like kind of like Dreamland, I think. I'm, I'm trying not to destroy this, so just um, give me a second. Yeah, so Kirby's like my favorite Nintendo character. I loved him since I was a kid. I still love him today. And so when I saw this, I just I don't know. I kind of I was weak. I was weak. But it's super nice. Sick. Sorry for the volume. Okay. Yeah, they have a lot of nice ones recently. So as you can see, pretty cool. Yeah, so they have some nice ones now. Or they've had some nice ones, mainly anime. But they've been doing more Nintendo stuff. Oh, oh boy. And this is... Stand, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so they have Toon Link. They have um, Mega Man now. They have... Actually, they have Batman, which is not Nintendo, I know. Um, Dark Knight's Batman. Heath Ledger's Joker. And... Cynthia from Pokemon. And Garchomp. And, you know, one thing. So, I'm gonna move this out of the way. And try to just show one at a time. Hopefully, that works. So... So you got Kirby right here, which is, so, okay, yeah, so, 
This is magnetized, so you can take off the feet, or you can replace it. I don't know why you would. Maybe just different placement, I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh boy, it's gonna. This could be annoying trying to get the feet like perfect because I think I just messed it up. Oh boy, why I, I don't know why I did that. Sorry. So yeah, it's magnetized. You move, take out the arms and everything. So that's really cool. And yeah, so that explains how you can. So I'm guessing the face is also magnetized. So I think that's why you take out take out the feet, the arms, and then replace the the different plates. So you can have this. So you can see they're like this. So yeah, that's probably why that makes more sense. And I don't know what this is. I'm guessing it's another arm. It's probably well, it's probably for holding like the sword or the star rod. So you have the main Kirby, which is adorable. It's Kirby. Put that away for right now. You got his face where he's sucking up. You got the battle face. And then you have the, like he's blown up. So you have those. And then you have the fire with the fire like crown or fire Kirby, which is really cool actually like that this could be a little longer just because I haven't done an unboxing like this before I really I'm a little unsure what to do exactly show the parts first star rod and then the sword is nope oh, sorry there we go and then you have the cap which is Nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some cuts and try to put different um, combinations together, make it easier. And so I will start that right now, hopefully. So first off, you got, oh, my bad. You got Kirby like this, where he's, he has something in his mouth. Cool. And it turns out that you actually take him off. So you do this. So you take all the parts off. It's pretty, it's really smart that they did a magnetic, and you actually uh, twist it to take it off. It's kind of morbid. I just tore Kirby apart. My bad. And then you got the Kirby that's sucking things up. I really don't know if I did the feet right. Right when I took the feet off, I kind of forgot which way they go. But I think he stands like this when he sucks up. I can't remember. So yeah, that kind of sucks. I kind of forgot how the feet go. So, yeah, there's that. And you got fire Kirby blowing fire, or it's not. This part's not magnetic, but I'm pretty sure, pretty sure there's a piece that can connect it. But so it, it would look like this, which is pretty cool. But, uh, but I really like the fire Kirby with the fire out on top. That's really really cool. And then you probably you probably have the coolest one right here. Sword Kirby. Kind of the feet where he's doing kind of like a leap, or I tried to. Whoa, 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 I took the foot off. Oh boy. Oh. Okay, so yeah, it's doing kind of like a leap. This is really cool. And then, yeah, the arm has the hole for the sword and the star rod. So yeah, it's, this one's really cool. The good thing about the arms and the feet is that you can actually do the pose and whatever. Like, it doesn't have to be like the one on the box or in the instructions. It like you can do whatever you want and it'll still look pretty cool. So yeah. And then finally you have what? Sorry. You have Kirby with the star rod. And try like that. Which is probably the one I will use when I put them up on my shelf somewhere. Just because uh, it's the iconic look with the star rod. I you know love Kirby with the star rod. And I think I got the feet right this time. Uh, I might work on it, but yeah, I think I got it right. So yeah, this is really cool, this version. And this is what like the finished pose would be on the stand. As you can see right here. And it was kind of the hardest thing for me to do it correctly for the to fit in the little hole and get the right 
pose on so that it doesn't like mess up. But I think I got it all right. I might, you know, fix the the exact pose that I want later on. But yeah, so this is what it would look like with the stand and the final pose. So that's really cool. Um, all the different things, like the different faces, the different pieces, the different... Um... Oh, there we go. That's what I mean. Well, maybe because I was holding it a certain way. But I will try to fix that later. So, uh, let me try to... Hopefully he doesn't fall. Okay. That's my bad. So I will fix that later. But yeah, so that's it for this unboxing. Sorry this one was a little long and complicated, but that's because I haven't done an unboxing like this before. I didn't really know what to do exactly, but I think it came out all right. Um, so this is a really cool Nendoroid, 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 whoever you call it. Um, yeah, so if you love Kirby, I would say to check out Good Smell Company's website and see how much it is. I'm not sure how much it is, but it's, you know, I don't, I don't really know what to say. It can be super expensive or a good price, but I'm glad I got this because I just love Kirby. And yeah, so that's it for this unboxing. Please um, comment on what you thought about this unboxing. Hopefully you guys aren't too mean because I know... It wasn't the best, but hey, it was my first time doing one like this. And check out Just Nerds on Twitter. I'm starting to remember that. Just Nerds on Twitter to see when new videos are posted, or just my thoughts on certain topics like movies, shows, or games. And so that's it for this one, and take care.